Yeah, um, I'm, uh, I'm more in the project development environment uh, for greenfield infrastructure in sub-Saharan Africa than I am in, uh, in uh, VC, uh, in venture capital. Um, and uh, uh, essentially, uh, Electra manages a facility called Infraco Africa, which is um, a form of venture capital fund, uh, except it's donor funded, uh, and it, which is designed to develop, uh, to invest in the development of uh, early stage infrastructure in sub Saharan Africa. Um, but to, to answer the, the, the question quite, uh, qu quite directly in terms of whether the VC model um, um, would work for, uh, for developers in, uh, in Africa, I mean, as cur currently, it's, it's not something that, um, frankly, we see as, um, as a realistic possibility, and there are a number of reasons for that. Um, the, the, the first reason is, as you pointed out, there is not a track record of project developers uh, closing transactions in, in Sub-Saharan Africa where the developers have you know, achieved significant returns on the mere development alone. And so absent that, um, it's a very difficult proposition to make to uh, venture capitalists who are used to a certain risk profile and getting a return for it to come into this market recognizing that project development or project preparation of greenfield infrastructure, especially early stage in sub-Saharan Africa is probably a more risky environment than, uh, than most VC investors are used to. And the returns are not there. Um, the returns are not there um, on, on a couple of fronts. Once, number one, the exits are extremely difficult, if not non-existent, unless you, you hold on for a very long time. The second is um, you have a financing environment which is dominated by the DFIs, the development finance institutions, and the multilateral institutions who finance these projects, who are um, you know, not really developer friendly and so do not look at providing um, a reward for the risk that, that's been taken. At least that's not how they look at it. Um, and then the third thing is infrastructure is a public service. And so at the end of the day, how much you can get out of the project in terms of profit for its investors and for the developer, it's, it's, a, it's, it's a limited pie. And so because that pie is, is fixed, um, it, it, is very, uh, it, it is very difficult to attract VC into what is typically done in sub-Saharan Africa in, in, with respect to infra infrastructure, which is kind of single asset, what we would refer to as single asset deals. Now, the only possibility to attract VC or, or VC-like investors are really if you build a project development company with a portfolio. And perhaps that model is someone that is perhaps that would work. Um, but at the beginning, in terms of the seed capital, would have to be uh, really concessionary, if not grant funded, before you could actually build up such a company. Doing business in Africa, you can't afford to be without Africa Investor.